Good evening, teacher and classmate. My name is Carla, and today my group and I will talk about physiotherapy instruments, clinical areas, and physiotherapy staff. Instrument for physiotherapy. Magnet therapy. It is one of the very useful physiotherapy instruments. With them, you can treat a large number of ailments and has very positive effect for the body in general. Ultrasound. Ultrasound is used in a code of physiotherapy treatment. You can treat certain diseases thanks to this device. A mechanical wave transfer in carried out that have higher frequency than what a person air can pick up. They are transferred throughout the use of a hell. In this way, the person obtains benefits. Physiotherapy tens. Transcutaneous nerve electromulation tends allow us throughout electrodes to send electric impulses to the underlying nerves, which causing the activation of a mechanism now as the pain gate. Therapeutic laser. This instrument allows many painful symptoms to disappear and also collaborates in the recurve of movement. It is one of the best equipment for physiotherapy. It offers a very strong calming action at the same time is helped to deflate. For this reason, it is used in many different types of injuries and all kinds and diseases. Among them, we can mention possible dislocation, hernia, bursity, spurs, calcification, etc. Physiotherapy tables. Product that no physiotherapist can miss and with a great variety of types. Hydraulic, folding, electric, and fakes. Its use includes massages and sport recovery. Reflexology. Uh, therapies or evening relaxing massages. Hot and cold compresses. In the case uh, of compresses, to apply cold or heat in some region of the body. And compresses are used to reduce inflammation, vasoconstriction. And in hot compress, compresses, is promote relaxation. This is what for the nothing, nothing. Watching it safety decide to decide. Yeah. a much fluid to team the crap season players. Some real museum charging play of children on the leaf of cell pie. First, the fight socially on the leaf team. Thank you.
To continue with the explanation of my partner, have you ever wondered which place comes with all the equipment in our region? In Tangna, we come with some medical center of physical therapy such as Isabel, La Luz, Sentir Clinic, and the Physical Therapy Department in Esalu and Unan. Which medical center is better? This comparative chart shows us the equipment that are available from my pre-professional point of view. Because of the opportunity, I had to evidence the utilization of some tools that are being used at the moment the center clinic and in the physical therapy department of the salud. Sentir has circuits in neuropediatrics and the salud has no circuits in neuropediatric because of lack of space. Another point, Sentir work on machines like bicycle, pulley, treadmill, etc. The salud, the only available workout machines are an old treadmill to bicycle. Moreover, in Sentir Clinic, we have a personalized hospital bed adaptable to the patient necessities. And as a salute, the patient are received in the hospital bed. Instead, they are put in the chair which doesn't give them the comfort they need. Sentir has Sweden stairs and a salute on the no, has no Sweden stairs that is why get training or walking abilities could not be performed. As a final point, referring to hydrotherapy, Sentir only comes with a jacuzzi with pressure but, but without efficacy. And a salud is passed with turbine or with pressure for lower and upper limbs. So, we can conclude that the Department of Neuropediatric in the Center Clinic is better implemented, comprising a series of equipment such as circuits and a special, a specialized area in children compared to the Department in Esalu, which has a no circuits in addition to it only has a, an area for both children and adults. A specialized area helps children to concentrate of therapy as they are very vulnerable to any events that may take place in their environment. On the other hand, if we talk about the care of the older patient, the best care provided will be in the physical therapy department of the salud since it has compresses and weights that will help in the preparation and the strengthening of the patient. This analysis is not intended to defend a specific health center, only to inform and give the public the data to make the best decision of their, after all the most important thing is the health of the population, no matter where they go. In my opinion, the Santir Clinic is more specialized to receive an infant, and the Physical Therapy Department of the Salud has all the implements to perform adequate treatment to an adult. Thanks. Areas of physiotherapy. As for physiotherapy, in this area we are going to treat pathologies and damage caused by physical activity, both in professional and amateur athletes. The rehabilitation in this area are based on the athlete being able to resume their activities normally. 
The endures, they usually three are muscle and tender endures such contractures, fibular tear, pain in full shoulder, or ligament on joint endures. Neurology physiotherapy. It is with the study, diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of disorder that endure the central or peripheral nervous system. The treatment that are carried out in this area are to improve the quality of life of the patient. Example of condition to be triggered, epilepsy, Parkinson's, stroke, Alzheimer, brain injuries. Periodic physiotherapy. This is area of physiotherapy focus on caring for and solving problems in the nervous system in a station that go from birth to adolescence. We see situations in children such as learning problems, psychomotor development problems, seizure and epilepsy, sleep disorder, neuromuscular, perinatal, neuronatal, neurological disease, as well as cerebrovascular disease. Rheumatology physiotherapy. This AR is dedicated to training medical disorder of the locomotor system and connective tissue. They are specialists help patients with problems that occur in joints, bone, muscle, tendon, and fascia, which are normally known as rheumatic disease. Some examples of endures to three are osteoporosis, systemic sclerosis, osteoporosis, myopathies. Geriatric physiotherapy. Older adults are treated in this area. It can focus on preventive, curative, or rehabilitation aspects of disease or injuries such as hip fracture. Orthopedic physiotherapy. The objective of the specialist is to accelerate the recovery process of their patients who suffered some type of injury to joints, muscles, bones, soft tissues, and nerves. Cardiovascular physiotherapy helps improve your health and recover from heart attack, other types of heart disease, the training exercises, emotional support, and education about lifestyles changes to reduce the risk of heart disease. Obstetric physiotherapy. Obstetric physiotherapy offers women the possibility of being accompanied at that special time in their lives to discover her body, protect her pelvic floor and prevent and treat painful pathologies so they can enjoy and live the pregnancy more intensely. Get better physical condition at birth. Respiratory physiotherapy is the prevention, treatment, and stabilization of respiratory dysfunctions or disorders. The general objective is to improve pulmonary ventilation, exercise tolerance, and health related quality of life. It is made up of a series of specialized techniques and procedures for the functional diagnostic assessment of the respiratory system and of therapeutic intervention techniques for unblocking the airways, respiratory re-education and readaptation to effort. Now we will talk about Sentir. Sentir is the physical therapy center where we are going to be able to carry out various professional practice for the development of our abilities as physical therapists, supervised by teachers specialized in physical therapy. Centur has areas carefully distributed and said and thinking about the benefit of the treatments of its patients. Physical agent area. It is an area enabled with the latest technology equipment applied to improve the different symptoms that the patients may present. We have thermotherapy, hot and cold compresses, electrotherapy, ultrasound, combined therapy, magnetotherapy, 
Laser and Perfume. Adult Gym. It is an area that has machines and materials used according to the objectives of the treatments. We have a treadmill, a mini gym with weights, a Swedish staircase, etc. Gym for children. It is an area enabled with appropriate materials for simulations and treatments according to the needs of the child. And the last is clinics. These are areas where physiotherapeutic evaluation are carried out according to the patient's needs and which are the basis for the treatments designed. Now we are going to talk about the professionals that we can find in a physical therapy clinic. We have the rehabilitation doctor, physical therapist, a speech therapist, occupational therapist, social workers, the nursing unit, guardians, orthoprosthetic technicians, and psychologists. First, we have the rehabilitation doctor. The rehabilitation doctor is also known as the physiatrist. They treat patients with injuries and conditions. They are in charge of coordinating the patient's rehabilitation in the most complete and comprehensive way possible. They must know how to work in each area and all the progress that the patient has in each area. Physiatrists are medical doctors who have completed training in the specialty of physical medicine and rehabilitation. They are formed in traumatology, rheumatology, urology, orthotics and prosthesis. The roles of a rehabilitation doctor are treat patients of all ages, focus treatment on function, diagnose and treat pain as a result of an injury, illness or disabling condition, determine and lead a treatment or prevention plan, lead a team of medical professionals which may include physical therapists, occupational therapists and other doctors. Work with other physicians, which may include primary care physicians, neurologists, orthopedic surgeons, and many others. Treat a whole person and not just the problem area. Then we have the physical therapist. A physical therapist is a professional who helps people who have problems with mobility or neurological function. They provide services that develop, maintain, and restore people's maximum movement and functional ability. They can help people at any stage of life to maximize their quality of life, looking at physical, psychological, emotional, and social well-being. Physical therapists use methods such as exercise, work on braces, eyes, and electrical stimulation to help strengthen muscles, relieve pain, and improve movement. They also teach exercises to help prevent injury and loss of movement. A physical therapist can work in a hospital, rehabilitation clinic, community health center, home care program, schools and fitness centers. They work in the health spheres of promotion, prevention, treatment, habilitation and rehabilitation. The role of a physical therapist may include Evaluate the finding from the examinations, assessment to make clinical judgment regarding the patients, uh, formulate a diagnosis, prognosis, and plan, provide consultation within their expertise, and determine when people, patients need to be referred to another healthcare professional. Implement a physical therapist in the patient or treatment program the outcomes of any interventions and make recommendations for self-management. Another staff member is the speech therapist. Speech therapy is the assessment and treatment of communication problems and speech disorders. Speech therapists are the professionals in charge of validating the communication, oral and writing language, voice, speech, and associated oral functions like breathing, uh, chewing, chewing, and swallowing. Speech therapy can treat several speech and language disorders such as articulation disorder, fluency disorder, 
aphasia, dysarthria, and cognitive communication disorders. Occupational dis therapies. Occupational therapies assist patients ability to carry out their daily activities. These activities include eating, dressing, bathing, going to the bedroom, cooking, and cleaning. Occupational therapies can recommend strategies and devices to help the effect function more independently. One of the most recognized specialties is the pediatric physical therapist. One of the needs of the pediatric physical therapist is to know the child's mother development from birth to two years, which is where the greatest changes occur. In addition to talking into account that their bone and muscle structures involve, involve as they grow up, so a good orthopedic and neurological examination is necessary. Within this speciality is developed the psychomotricity, that it is a discipline that based on the child's comprehensive conception is in a is in charge of the interaction between knowledge, emotion and movement for the development of the personality and its corporality as well as the ability to express itself and relate appropriately within the environment to surroundings. Physi physiotherapy and disorder of psychomotor development, treatment of different conditions that can affect the child's psychomotor development to prevent and avoid possible disabilities. High risk children, for example, infantile cerebral, cerebral palsy, traumatic brain injury, sequel of meningitis, unique development delays, multiple multiple development delays and others. Also we have the congenital and genetic conditions. There is the treatment of disabilities caused by different congenital and genetic syndromes that can affect the normal development of the child, like Down syndrome, Werner syndrome, and Turner syndrome. And the preschool fine motor stimulation. They have a physiotherapeutic approach for infants from two years of age to the proper development of their fine motor skills in the preschool. A station preparation for rough motor skills. And also we have the social workers. Social workers provide support, information and education. They help people prepare for these chairs from the, from the hospital by identifying and organizing support service that can be provided at home and in the community. Social workers also coordinate certain home health care needs, including a home health nurse or physical therapist, and obtaining medical equipment such as wheelchairs and hospital beds. Nursing unit. The goal of rehabilitation nursing is to assist people with a disability or chronic illness to attain and maintain maximum function. The rehabilitation staff nurse assists clients in adapting to an altered lifestyle while providing a therapeutic environment for clients and their families' development. The functions of the nursing assistants in the rehabilitation unit will be the grooming and cleaning of patients, the cleaning and organization of the material used in the unit under the supervision of the registered health auxiliary personnel, assist size personnel in the placement or fixation of the patient in the special place of their treatment, control the static postures of the patient with the supervision of the registered health auxiliary staff, undress and dress patients, when the treatment requires it, collect and replace the clothes used in the unit. In general, all those activities that, without having a sanitary professional character, come to facilitate the function of the physician and the nurse or sanitary technical assistant, insofar as they don't oppose the provision of this statute. 
Wardens. People who monitor regulatory complaints, order, and other support stacks in a hospital. They control patient access, transfers, and mobilization. Urgent transport, transfers of documents, perform cleaning and tax, watch the entrances of the institute, etc. We can find them in the main door, emergency assistance area, hospitalization plans, operating rooms, radio diagnosis, rehabilitation door, and rehabilitation. Higher technician in orthoprosthetics. The orthoprosthetics technician is the professional trying to perform and design orthotics, prosthetics, and technical aids, in addition to organizing, programming, and supervision manufacturing in adaptation to the client, and monitoring complaints of the specification established for the regulation of the corresponding prescription. For example, design and adaptation of a prosthetic legs. Re their role is administer and manage an orthoprosthetics workshop or laboratory, define orthosis, prosthesis, and orthoprosthesis or technical aids, adjusting to the prescriptions and the anatomical functional characteristics of the client, organize, schedule, and supervise the manufacture of prosthetics, orthotics, and technical aids. Elaborate orthosis, prosthesis, orthotics, and personalized technical aids. Adapt the orthosis, prosthesis, orthoprosthesis, and technical aids and carry out periodic reviews of them. Psychology. Psychology is the discipline that investigates the mental process of people. This discipline analyzes three dimensions of process processes, cognitive, affective, and behavioral. Rehabilitation psychology is a specialty area that focuses on the study and application of psychological knowledge and skills on behalf of individuals with disabilities and chronic health conditions in order to maximize health and welfare, independence and choice, functional abilities, and social roles participation.